Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 10th of February. James Spann here. Things are calming down after a really nice snow last night for North Alabama. Uh, just perfect to make a snowman, have a snowball fight. Uh, roads, not that bad. And once we get above freezing later this morning, things get back to normal. But the snow melts off in a hurry. I, th I thought this image, it just spoke volumes to me for some reason. And we've got hundreds and hundreds of snow pictures from last night. We'll probably see hundreds more once the sun comes up this morning. But it's just a gorgeous scene across the state. Uh, the Skycam Network, and of course, I'm doing this before the sun comes up. So this is all in the dark. That's the Jasper Skycam looking down at the courthouse square. That's coming from the Inverness camera. That's the uh, parking lot down below the uh, Wingate Inn on Highway 280. And up in Russellville, a snow-covered scene there. Here's a water vapor satellite shot. Uh, most everybody had amounts of 1 to 3 inches. We had some higher-end amounts in uh, parts of West Alabama, uh, 4 inches in spots. We'll put a full list on the blog later today. Temperatures are generally below freezing. Anniston's doing okay with 33 uh, Birmingham 31, the colder readings up in northwest Alabama, Haleyville down to 23. And thank goodness the core of this cold air not impacting us. It's 21 below zero up at uh, International Falls, Minnesota. And the core of the cold air in eastern Canada, it's 38 below zero. Ouch. Well, there's what we dealt with last night, the snow and the rain well to the east. Uh, still snowing in parts of uh, North Carolina around the tidewater. But that'll be moving off uh, shore and looking off to the west. Things are nice and quiet. Watch warning map calming down. Those advisories will be ending soon. And there's the QPF chart. And, of course, this counts what we had last night. This started at 6 o'clock last night and runs through uh, Monday evening of next week. But I'll tell you, we're going to be dry for a while and warmer after today. Here's the. Uh, the we'll start with the uh, GFS. This is the 06Z run at noon today. Still some energy showing up out there on the Red River, so it might squeeze out a few scattered clouds, but the air coming in is bone dry. There's the uh, uh, surface look. A uh, surface high is located over southeast Oklahoma. And again, the, the air coming in uh, t today, it is not the true cross-polar air. So we'll see highs probably in the upper 30s. The GFS is showing 38. Tomorrow morning will be cold where snow is still on the ground. We'll do upper teens. The GFS is showing 19, but we warm into the upper 40s, a bright sunny day. And Saturday, the warming trend really kicks in, uh, bright and sunny with low 50s likely. And Sunday, the GFS is showing a high of 62, and it should be hard to find a decent cloud in the sky. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Monday of next week. How about oh, 61 or 62? Bright, sunny weather looks great. And really, I think we'll do mid-60s almost every day next week. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. A weakening front coming in with hardly any upper support. And there's a week from today, and you can see that there's ridging over the Gulf, 582 Ridge. Uh, all of the cold air potential is up in the northwest. And uh, down below that, that weakening front might Bring a shower, but uh, there's no upper support, and there's a week from tomorrow. Some moisture, maybe a few scattered showers, but again, nothing widespread, and we stay very mild. Highs in the 60s all week long. Spring fever will be breaking out. A few days later on the 21st, again, big trough in the west, ridging over the gulf. Looks like a dying front in here, and again, maybe a shower, but uh, not, nothing cold. And on the 25th, the polar jet is way up in Canada. <clears throat> and again, uh, uh, there's this big upper low near Wichita, and that would produce maybe some showers and storms, but you can clearly see the lack of any Arctic air in this period for the next 16 days, and I think we can all celebrate that. It's been a very long, cold winter. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. If you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham, at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.